Hello, I'm Philip Mann, the Technical Director at Kapler. And today I'm in the spreading and cutting area of our plant, and I have with me Paul Rehome, who's our Director of Operations, and Lance Smith, who is our Cutting Room Manager. Now, typically some of our blogs in the past have been more related to technical issues or products, but today we want to talk about some improvements we've made in this particular area of our plant, which improves efficiency and allows us to get our work done a lot simpler. So I'm going to turn it over to Paul, and Paul, explain to me a little bit about what you've done here. All right, so uh, what we learned back here in uh, cutting and spreading is, is we had some manufacturing waste that was happening. Uh, we had some transportation waste, uh, some motion waste, and some waiting time waste. And uh, that was brought to light when uh, Lance, our cutting supervisor, brought it to us and said, hey, is there a way we can fix it and improve it? So what we came up with was a fabric rack that uh, eliminated those three wastes. Uh, when, we, when we look at that waste, um, we did a time study. So Lance timed it under the old way, and that took us 22 minutes, roughly, to do it the old way. Uh, after we did that time study, we made the fabric rack, installed it, and had our spreader uh, run through it. And what we found is we went from 22 minutes to five minutes, which that's a 17 minute difference uh, in that process. Um, where it becomes significant though is, is when you do it five times a day, now you, your time's in 17 minutes by five. And then when you compound that with um, the spreader's wages, you're looking at over a year's time frame, you're saving $3,500 a year um, for the company. Wow, that's, that's, that's interesting. Now, can you show us the rack and just yeah. explain a little bit to us about Absolutely. what we're doing here? So this is a finished product rack, but conceptually it didn't start out this way. Uh, first thing we came up with is, is, hey, maybe we need to do an A-frame. Uh, then we realized on an A-frame that wouldn't work because the, the fabrics on the back of the A would be hard to, to get to. Uh, then we thought, well, maybe we could do like a Ferris wheel. Uh, but th then what we realized was um, if we did the Ferris wheel, we don't have as much room going up as we did have going back. So we uh, basically uh, decided on a rack that was uh, built to this standard. So what we had to do though to get this was we had to remove three of our stations, uh, which wasn't a big deal because we weren't using those three stations anyway. We, we were only using four of the stations, so that created us some room. Uh, so the, the idea behind this was is we were going to get four um, full rolls of three separate types of fabrics on the rack. So that was our first step. Now we're on the next iteration where we realize that the likelihood of us having four full rolls of the three separate fabrics is unlikely. So now we can put another set of fabrics on yeah. here uh, with four more uh, rolls. So it keeps getting better uh, as we... Well, and again, uh, that's the example we like to set for ourselves re relative to continuous improvement. You know, that's part of our ISO 9001 that we continually improve and make better what we do. And I think this is a great example of it. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.